When I tell you that I enjoyed this movie from beginning to end is an understatement. What James Gunn did with the this third installment of Guardians was nothing short of masterful. It wasn't perfect, but there is very few mistakes done when presenting this movie. The pacing from that opening and spoiler warning, if you haven't seen it, consider this your opportunity to leave. But that opening fight scene just set the the pace, just set the mood for this movie. And let me tell you, it left me just in awe at how entertained and engaged I was. The writing was great. The acting was great. Everything about this movie was just good. The only thing I would say is that now we are talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy and they do use music to push the the movie and he does it in a very artistic way. And I just think that some of the music choices for this movie were it felt a little bit forced, but that's probably it as far as the criticism the jokes were on point i mean you had me crying for animals for god's sakes like that is just masterful writing and storytelling at its peak and just on a side note or or a side tangent if this is what james gunn is going to do with DC. I mean that opening seed when with with Adam Warlock, it might as well have been Superman. And I was like if this is a little bit of a taste of what we're going to get, hey, <laughs> DC is in good hands with James Gunn. But back on the Guardians of the Galaxy, I I mean everything from the scoring to the music, like I said the acting all around just a fun fun time. And I highly recommend this movie for anyone that's a Marvel fan and is a Guardians of the Galaxy fan. If this is the last time we're going to see this group in this form, I thought it was a fitting end to this movie. I know a lot of people thought that we were going to lose a couple of characters, maybe Rocket, maybe Drax, but none of them really died, even though in real life we know the some of the actors are going away, but doesn't mean that they couldn't come back. Right now they're saying that they, they're not planning to come back, that they're done with Marvel movies or Marvel as a whole after this. But who knows in the future if they maybe they come back for a small cameo. I understand why Gamora and Drax don't want the the amount of makeup that is required to to be for those characters, including Nebula. And I don't know if Nebula said the actress um, has said that she she doesn't want to come back, but it's it's a lot. You know, it's a full day. You're talking about like almost 16, 18 hours in makeup and acting and all that stuff that I I could just imagine what it does to your skin and, and irritating and just the amount of of time that's devoted for this character and the amount of months that it takes to film one of these things with reshoots with coming back hey you think you're done two months later hey we have to do some reshoots and stuff like that and, and they, they bring them back but i completely enjoyed it everything about this but again it's a fitting end if this is the end of our guardians of the galaxy that we got used to and moving forward they laid a little bit of the groundwork even though i don't think that's in the extra in the post credit scenes i don't think that that is the next uh version of the guardians of the galaxy yeah you have three that i think are going to stay which is Groot, rocket and adam warlock i think will be the the foundation of the next Guardians of the Galaxy, but who will they add to it? I think there's a couple of candidates that we could kind of guess who it would be, but who knows? The fact that at the end, the true post credit scene, I think, was with Star-Lord, and it said um, Star-Lord will return, so I think we're going to get a solo movie 
with Star Lord, maybe dealing with something to do with Earth and getting involved in something in another movie down the line because he is in Earth or you know on Earth. So we'll see where that goes. One criticism that I will have is that in that scene where Star Lord at the end he jumps from one ship to the other and he kind of was freezing over kind of a la how Gamora was freezing over in the first Guardians movie. I was like, where's this helmet? He always has a little thing behind his ear and it's not like he was kidnapped or was without his gear. They didn't address it, but like, why couldn't he have his helmet, which prevents him from feeling the effects of such things? Or was the, or, or was that only because no, he was freezing when he got rid of it in the, in the first one to save Gamora. So why, what was his helmet? Wh wh why didn't he have it on? At least they could have said, oh, he dropped it and he didn't have it, but they didn't show any of that. That was probably one of my biggest criticisms and big plot holes in this movie that I would, that I would say, but very, very small nitpick. Other than that, I, it, I was in my feels and I, I, I literally started clapping. I went to see it with my daughter. It was a little bit gory. I'll tell you this. James Gunn pushed the PG-13 to as much as he could. When I asked my daughter how she felt, she said it was very gory and almost like a horror movie. And I was like, and if you if you know what I'm talking about with the animal cruelty and then that scene at the end where they take off the face of the high evolutionary and you see his like just his muscles and his eyeballs and stuff like that. And he was like, you did this to me. You're kind of like, whoa, it kind of grosses you out a little bit, but not too much. But he pushed the envelope on <laughs> what PG-13 rating is. And I think they dropped an F-bomb, if I'm not mistaken, in a PG-13. So uh, Disney must have, you know, bribed some people to push this to, to, to in, in that kind of. Maybe this is a, a Disney pushing this envelope, you know, getting ready for Deadpool, getting ready for more mature... Uh, uh, topics moving down the line and if that's so i'm all for it but anyways for me this movie gets an a rating not perfect but damn near close but extremely entertaining but anyways those are just my thoughts i would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments and like always that's a wrap